are catching at the moment. Here we go, tapes are up, away we go. They go charging into the first turn and it's Andre Lebedev who makes a lovely fist of it from gate number three. Here comes Thompson, nice first turn from Thompson to get up the inside, he's running Lebedev's wide. Here comes Smarslik up the inside, he's now sweetly moved into second place. Hukenbeck is at the back, Thompson now mid-track, lifting about, a little bit uncomfortable, but Smarslik settling into the race nicely. Yeah, and as Thompson in search of grip, he's moving out wider than Bartosz Smarslik. Smarslik's happy to run around the inside, he made it work on Lebedev's, can he make it work Ooh. on Anders Thompson? A mistake there, I think that might be enough. Not quite, and it's Thompson just about recovering there as a roaring to the final lap. Smarslet not taking too many chances here, and again electing to ride very tight through one and two. Thompson's got this. Sense that Smarslet hasn't thrown the kitchen sink at this opening heat. But Anders Thompson, the wild card here in Boyens, delights the home crowd. Coming through nicely there, he was under a lot of pressure. Oh, Backstrick just had a little bit of a movement there. Oh, I'll tell you what, Smarslik was on the back wheel. Kim Nilsson around the inside. Look at this from Janowski coming on strong, but Smarslik somehow maintains his lead down the back straight. Slams the door shut in front of Nilsson. Around the outside is Matze Janowski. Conditions a little tricky. They're just lifting at moments when they don't want to. Look at Nilsson coming up the inside. Yeah, Janowski under a lot of pressure there. I've got to say, the subtle little things that Bartosz Smarslik does on that opening lap he just twitched down the back straight to make Kim Nilsson think he was going to turn. Then he straightened the bike up, ran it into the corner hard. It was an absolutely superb opening lap from Smarslik. Indeed it was. Smarslik's out in front. Matze Janowski coming under pressure from Nilsson. And now Max Frick is beginning to make his presence felt. But he's out of shape through turns one and two. Smarslik out in front. This is exactly what the doctor ordered for him. Clearly a little nervous in his first ride. But he's back to winning ways in heat number five. Strong start to the night, five points out of six from two outings. Here we go then, heat number 12, long pause this time. Smarslik's dropped the clutch, bang on. He fires himself to the front, Lingwood's coming up the inside. Crikey, that was tight. Rasmus Jensen ran out, so Rasmus Jensen! No, I tell you what, again, again, Smarslik so intelligent, covered all the angles there, the world champion did. Rasmus Jensen there, in second place. Freddy's in trouble, he's now relegated to the back. With Kubera coming up the inside. Advantage Smarslik here. Yeah, advantage Smarslik looking good. He's just doing everything he needs to do. He's just covering the bits of track when he needs to cover them. It's a workmanlike job from Bartosz Smarslik out front. And he's riding out wide now. He seems to have a little bit more confidence in the track, in his bike, and how things are working. Looking good out front. And uh, Rasmus Jensen on the outside there. He's coming under a lot of pressure from Kubera. He is indeed. Freddie Lingwood only two points. When uh, you throw in the exclusion, looking like he's going to unlikely to score here. It's not going to. Smarslik's on to eight. It's going to wear the champion, that's for sure. Creeping ever closer to a fifth title here in Boyens tonight. Hasn't really had to put himself out so far. Tapes are up. He doesn't miss out. He's made a lovely start. Bike worked beautifully. What a start from Lebedev. Where did he come from? He comes roaring across from the outside. Fabulous moment for him. But for Bartosz Smarslik, clearly out in front. Leading the way. Martin Vlachlik back in third. Kubera's at the back. Smarslik is going his way tonight. Yeah, Smarslik again doing what he's got to do. But I tell you what, that man in second, Andre Lebedev, really impressed me. He made a smart move in the first turn. And he, uh, the bike was driving forward. And I tell you what, a man with less strength than him would have ridden into the back of Smarslik. <laughs> could have been all very different. Indeed, it could have been. Bartosz Smarslik has won 25 Grand Prix. He's going to make another final here. Andre Lebedev's on the verge of making his maiden final. What a moment it is going to be for him. We're coming through the last corner in the first semi-final. And Smarslik is there. He's done it. Hasn't put a foot wrong tonight. He's been no worse than second throughout the evening. And you can see... Green light is on. Tapes are up. Robert Lambert's made an absolutely sensational start from gate number two. He fires himself to the front. Lebedev comes around the outside. Smarslik slips back to third. Round the outside, he's back, say, you're not... Here comes Sir Bartos Smarsley. Oh, what a move from him. Robert Lambert, will he win the Grand Prix? Will he win his first Grand Prix here in Boyens? Yeah, he's looking...
looking, he's on his way, but Smarslik again, just as he's done all night, is doing what he's got to do. If he can stay there, of course, he will be a five time world champion. Indeed, he will. We're down the back straight. Robert Lambert has cleared off out in front. His heart rate must be through the roof. So much, and so also the same applies for Bartosz Marsley. We've got less than a lap to go. Robert Lambert with a stunning start out of gate number two. This is a special moment for him. He wins his first Grand Prix in Boyers, and Smarzlik is a five-time world speedway champion here in Denmark tonight. What a moment. When you consider what happened here 12 months ago, he comes back and wins the championship in Denmark. What a moment for Smarzlik, and many congratulations to Robert Lambert for winning his maiden Grand Prix. Terrific result. Yeah, it's all happening here tonight. Robert Lambert wins his first ever Speedway Grand Prix, but Bartosz Smarzlik, five-time world champion, first Speedway Grand Prix rider to go three on the trot. Yep, absolutely miraculous, fabulous, outstanding performance once again from Bartosz Marslik. The team are overjoyed. They had to work so hard seven days ago, pulling engines out of motorbikes, throwing engines back into motorbikes, picked up a very valuable win, of course, seven days ago. Special moment for Robert Lambert. Brilliant moment for Robert Lambert, but for that man, he makes history here, Chris. Five-time World Speedway Champion. Yeah, what a night for him. He's done it absolutely perfectly. And, uh, you, you know, he's a team. Bartosz Smarzlik is a team. There's so many people, good people behind him, family behind him. They really are a strong unit. He's almost given him a night off tonight. He hasn't even changed bikes after last week in Riga. That was a tough night for them. Well, but there yeah. he is. He's put the gold on his head. Yeah, and uh, they were well prepared. And uh, race director um, uh, Phil Morris is congratulating him. You're right about the family affair. His brother works alongside him. His father is always there as well. And all of a sudden, all the hard yards, all the dashing around, of course, they were racing last night. It is a very busy schedule for all concerned at this time of year. But for Bartosz Marsnik, he's a lovely fellow too. He really is a smashing bloke.